Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to teach you about Team Customizer in Shopify. And this is where we spend most of our time developing our team and adding options and where most of your client also spend their time customizing their team. So if I click on the customize on the active team, currently I have one team. So I will click on the customize. It will navigate me to the live editor in Shopify. This is one of my favorite places for Shopify. They have done a great job of doing this so you are going to spend a lot of time adding this option for the people when you create your team you have sections here which shows every section in the home page for example you have image with text overlay which is going to be this section and here is the header which is the navigation and after that you have the feature collection which is going to be this one down here and you can click on them it will expand that section for you with all the settings for example you can add your image for the first one it does not have an image it has a lot of free images here you can come here let's say main fashion and I'm going to add this image so you will take the image select it it will automatically add the link for you and the image will be added and in the background of your app uh, your website here so it will take a little while to load so that should be fine for now and also it will show you where you will align the image in the bottom in the center middle is fine i think this is the best place it should be shown and more options you can do it by yourself also i will come back here and you have other feature collection you can select your home page it shows all the collection from your home page if you have another one just click change pick your collection and you are good to go and they have a lot of other options this is so easy also you can rearrange them let's say you put your image here and you can bring the feature collection down or you can bring the slider in the beginning here most of the website do that one and then you have your feature collection everything we, we, uh, works so nicely here that's why people love shopify it is so easy to customize here and adding these options are so easy for developers i have developed wordpress team in the past it is so hard to develop like in the past one or two years it has been easy they have worked on team customizer and that is a bit easy in like php but here in shopify it is a lot easy all you have to know is how json is going to work and you are you will have all the settings out there so i'll talk about them in the future video but for now you have the team uh settings here these settings are going to be general setting and you have you will have access access to them all over your website this one these sections are specific to one section for example here and let's say you have a section here these are the setting related to only this section but if you are coming to the theme setting here every color option you have here is going to be overall in your website for example if I scroll up here or maybe scroll down here is your button and if you are going to change the primary button color here for example you will choose red and this is going to change all over your website and this is going to the hover color is not going to change you can do that and that is the limitation of this theme here so that's why you can add as many options as you want this is your job as a developer so I will show you how you can add them in the future videos when we edit our theme but these are the possibilities of Shopify they have the checkout uh, setting they have add to card notification and they have favicon everything is possible here you can add the fonts that is so easy just change the phone it will let you select any font you want let's say this one and you are good to go now all your headings will have this font in your website i will save the changes as you can see the setting just reflect here before you save this one it is not going to be uh, publicly like uh, accessible the changes everything will be here once you save it then it will apply to your website the new user will see it so if i come to the sections here you can click in the eye it will hide that one you can see i can hide all of them why you, you do that one sometimes you want to test how your website is going to work if you don't have a section i'm sure you will not do that one and that's why i will bring everything up and also you can remove them from the bottom you can add more sections these are all the sections i have seen some of the themes they add, add a lot more options here which we will do in the future videos but these are the basic setting every shop is requ required to have so uh, if you come to the footer 
you have the footer links this is quick links this is about the business and this is the newsletter basic stuff but the options are very easy and you can customize it they do not have any other place where you can customize your theme this is the only place you can do this one you can add as many options as you want and you can edit your code you can preview your theme you can edit your language also so that's it for uh the theme customizer there's not more than this for developers that is all you have to know and make sure you are going to practice what i am teaching you as i am going to recording this video so that's it for this video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video